Hey y'all, welcome back. If you're uh, new, welcome. My name is Joan, better known as the Thrift Queen. Um, my channel is basically about anything thrifty, um, from grocery shopping, to clothes shopping, to shopping from home decor, shopping for home decor, um, thrifting, one of my major things, um, and uh, repurposing, you know, decorating, all kinds of stuff. I'm just a whole hodgepodge and we also have live videos on Saturday night with everybody and we come in and we talk about current events or just anything that's going on and it's a bunch of us on Saturday nights just chatting away. So if you want to meet somebody new, I ain't talking about dating, I'm talking about, you know, a group of people online with like interest, pop in on Saturday night, 7.30 Central. Okay, now, welcome back everybody, if you've been here before. So today has been a flood of emotions for me. And when I say flood of emotions, I mean a decorating world. I brought some rugs back, I told y'all, back in April. I never opened them, right? I just showed y'all that little piece. Well, anyway, today I got to the point where I'm like, okay, I'm ready to put down my rugs. I opened up one all the way, laid it out, and y'all, it does not match. Now, the reason why it doesn't match is because I have a lot of smoke gray like this. Oh, here we go again. I'm going to hit the tripod. Look. Like smoke gray and tans. The rug really goes with this. You see? Uh, this is a, a chair cushion. I mean, a cover, pillow cover that I had got from Hobby Lobby during the summer. And it really goes with this, with those steel grays, like a silver gray and that tan. It goes with this. This is what the rug matches with. It doesn't match with this chair. It's totally off from that. And the pictures I have on the wall. And, you know, y'all will see when I'm, because I'm just about ready to finish up. But I was going to put down the rug and do the darn tour, and it didn't work out. So, anyway, excuse me, y'all. Just want to grab this, because this is another part of what I'm talking about today. Okay, so, I was like, nope, you know what I could do? Then I thought. So, then I went to this. Oh, I'll just get all new furniture for a rug. Girl, are you kidding me? And then I get online and I start looking and I'm, I found some cute chairs and then I was like, oh, I'll buy a new sofa. And then I, but then I was like, what you gonna do with this if it doesn't sell right away? Where you gonna put it? Cause you can't lift it by yourself, girl. Where you gonna put it at? So I thought, yeah, you're right. <laughs> I'm having a full on conversation with my crazy self, right? Then I was like, well, I'll change the curtains because the curtains definitely got to change. And then I'll change the artwork over the thing. But as I am at this point, I'm probably at about $2,500 for a rug that cost me less than $100. No. Okay, so why is my camera going bananas and have me all these different colors? <laughs> I don't know. I see it going nuts. You better relax yourself, camera. So anyway, I, um, yeah, it looks like it's going... I don't know. But anyway, so I uh, I got lost track of th because it keeps changing colors on me. I'll see how it looks. Anyway, so yeah, that was that. And then I just decided I'm going to keep the rug I had. I'm going to work with what I got. I'm going to wrap those rugs up. I'm going to take them to my storage, which as a matter of fact, at the end of this video, stay, when I'm getting ready to go up here, you guys are going to go to a clip of me going to the storage space I'm going to show you inside of it and I'm going to show you that I realized yesterday that I probably should have gotten a 10 by 10 instead of 5 by 10 and the reason why I say that is I can put everything I need in the 5 by 10 but I all but I thought as far as some of this stuff as far and you know I've been donating a lot of stuff I can stop donating right and I can set up a section in the storage space put the stuff up for sale store it there until it sells and that's been my problem with with um selling is that i didn't have a place to store the stuff until it sold you know so therefore i was just donating it because i was like forget it i ain't putting it up well i decided i'm probably going to go back tomorrow or either wednesday the next time i go out because today is monday i'll go over and i'll up my storage space to the 10 by 10 and then i can have my section where i'm storing stuff and I'll have the section where I can store stuff that I'm selling. And not that I'll be buying more to sell. I got so much that I can sell to it ain't funny. So, um, I'm going to do that, I think. I think. We'll see. But anyway, so then, with all of that said, I said, the, the picture behind me, I bought this for 99 cents. It has a nice value to it. You know, I mean, it ain't no Picasso. But, you know, it's, it could pull in more than what I paid for it. 
So I had it hanging here and I thought, I don't even want it no more. It doesn't work with my room. I put it there because I needed, one, I needed a place to store it. And two, this was an empty wall. So then I had got this, some of y'all remember, from Hobby Lobby. Mm, maybe early springish. What, what does this say on it? Um, this just says home decor. I don't know. I got it this year. I know I got it this year. Right? This is a big old round with the metal thing in here. And you see this? It's like an off-white distressed. Well, I was thinking, why don't I try to make a galvanized metal out of this with kind of gray paint and some vinegar and then put it in here and it would match. Or if it, even if it's not galvanized, if it's just gray. I think I would just go for a silvered gray right and put that in here and then um take because this metal part here this can change and i would leave the frame the round frame the way it is this i paid 6.99 it was 69.99 but i got it on 75 percent off so i paid 6.99 for that six dollars and 99 cent yes so i said i'll do that take this down right so that's the new changes that i'm gonna be doing over tonight and tomorrow i'm gonna do that and then i had bought this little flower arrangement from Michaels and I had thrifted this a while ago and I thought that would be cute so now I just have to find something like a some um what is that Spanish moss or something to put in here to make it look like it's real because it doesn't even fit you see I just took the cut that paper down and stuck it in there and I thought that would be cute so I think I'm gonna add this as an addition in here too um you'll see it when it gets done so i think those are the few changes and then i have to dress this out like i'm you know put something on there which i didn't have anything right now i took everything off so i'll be doing fall stuff on there um some probably some pumpkins and some whatnot i don't know just a hodgepodge um just until fall is over and then when fall is done i'm pulling out christmas and i will have reindeer and all kinds of crap out and to be able to put over there i already have everything i need um yeah so that was it so i'm gonna leave the living room the way it was <laughs> i was so mad at myself i went through this all day long I, got, I hope and pray this uh video is coming out right and it's not showing these colors all crazy like it is because i have to retape it but anyway then i thought i think i might have a jewelry sale right to start off and then i would possibly on here have a home decor sale you know small things dishes um little home accents stuff like that but the jewelry sale um i had some james avery some pieces that um you know i'll see how that goes some really nice pieces of silver jewelry is what i would sell and um instead of taking it to the local jewelers here because i've been taking i have the james avery with the um silver in the 14 karat gold heart on the james avery chain like this tangled then I have this with the Aurora Borealis. I like this necklace, but you know what? I found myself not wearing it for a very long time. This one. I'll show y'all. Uh, like Saturday, I'm going to talk about this. But that's what the things I've been doing today. I have this other heart. This one here, the floating heart. Um, I got all kinds of pieces of James or, uh, um, Avery pieces. And I have this. I think this tiger's eye is so pretty. And this is on a, a silver chain, too. Look at that tiger's eye. So pretty. So I have all different kinds over here. Um, and this one is Lillian Hill. Oh, here's another floating star, James Avery piece. And then I had, I looked this up, y'all. This right here, right? This is a James Avery, little girl's bracelet, right? From James Avery. I don't know if y'all can see that or not. But it has an H, it has a soccer ball, and it has the big sister, and it's the bracelet, right? And when I put it up, it's $198 if you bought today. Because it's all I'm still sold. The All three charms and the bracelet, $198. Child, where are they doing that at? So then, I also have this piece. I thought this was so pretty. But I never, I found myself never wearing it. Wait a minute. Make sure I'm not, I'm not dropping these earrings. Oh, this right here. Okay. This is the necklace, right? Look at that. This is sterling silver. Look at that necklace. You see the Aurora Borealis on there? Can y'all see that shine? It just floats around your neck like that. 
right? And then it has the matching earrings that go with it. So I don't know, I have some of these, I have a bunch more, but that Lillian Hill, I didn't know anything about her, but she does the uh, box, the little um, God boxes, the prayer boxes and stuff um, on the necklace, this one. In sterling, ooh, in sterling silver. That, and then here's her chain, nice big thick chain. So I got a few that I'm thinking about selling. Now, here's the thing. If y'all are interested, let me know if you're interested in a jewelry sale for me. Um, we're going, I'm going to start with the jewelry and then possibly I may do some home decor, but I would rather keep it kind of a closed thing um, as opposed to making it a big thing on um, YouTube. I mean, on, um, you know, out to everybody. So maybe we would do a sale on Facebook in the Facebook group or something like that. Or I don't know. I would even do it on YouTube. It doesn't matter. Um, you know, just let me know y'all's feelings, please. Leave me some comments and let me know because other than that, I'll just put them up local. But I know I want to get rid of those pieces. I have to. I got to start pairing. To, I, I've had to have a talk with myself that I got to get rid of some stuff. Yeah. So, yep, that's what I'm doing. I just wanted to catch all up on what I was doing today. I hope that this video is not going bananas with color because I have to retape it. I am doing some housework today. Um, I'm going to, as much as I can't stand these chairs, I'm going to keep them for now. Um, these are the armchairs. So, let me see. I'll let y'all see. These armchairs here. Yeah. I bought these about maybe. Actually, it's been, what? Has it been two years? Yeah, I think it's been two years. Coming up now. I think it's been two years. Wait, has it? Yeah, I think I bought them in 2018. I think. But anyway, um, and I'm over it. I'm over it. But I had to have a talk with myself to say, do you really want to throw this away? Because that's what I would be doing. You, and nobody's going to really pay you for everything you have in here. So I'd probably get a couple hundred dollars and then start all over again, spending about $2,500 to $3,000, right, for what I really want or do I want to, and then not know whether it's going to fit if I do decide to move out of here soon. I've want, been wanting to move for a long time. But moving is so crazy, especially when you're living by yourself and you can't find the right moving company. So I've been stuck here. And um, I'm like, you know what? Until I'm moving, I know what kind of space I have. I'm not going to buy anything else. So that's why I'm going to put those rugs in storage. I will work with those colors when I decide to move. Those colors will work. They're very neutral as long as I stay in a light color palette. So, um, and I'm a more of a tan girl anyway. So that'll work. That'll work. But yeah, so I think I'm gonna change this out. And then um, I was thinking of changing my dining room table, but I don't, I mean a um, living room table because I have a round one that I got a couple years ago. I thrifted it and I still never put it out. Well, I don't think I'm gonna put it out this year either. So I think I'm gonna leave the rectangle and then that's that. But then, that's, so that's what I've been doing today, y'all. I know this is the most boring vlog today, but I just wanted to chat with y'all and let y'all know what was going on. Saturday we will be live, but I think I'll pop on one evening. If y'all want to do a sale, tell me you want to do a sale. Maybe we'll pop on one evening this week, do a quick sale, and then have a little chit chat live. All right, y'all. I'm gonna get off here. I'm gonna show y'all the clip of me going to uh, of the um, not me going, but to um, I'm gonna when I got there and I showed y'all when I put everything in. Um, and then after that, like I said, I'm probably going to get a second, I'm a, not a second, I'm going to move to a larger space. Because once I got that little bit in, I realized I might need a larger space just so I can sort through what I can get, what I'm getting. Ooh, all right, y'all, I'm in the storage space. Here it is. It's a five by ten. I'm going to load up the si this side at least with um, shelves all the way across. And then um, this back wall I might use for totes. And then I'll have shelves on this side so I could come in and grab what I need. So this is all I did. I got, took my bar cart apart, that's there. And I got just some things. I'm gonna run a, like I said, I'm gonna run a truck and grab the rest of the stuff and bring it down. So, and if this turns out to not be big enough, I'll just go ahead and get the 10 by 10. But right now this is the five by 10 and I'll see how this works for me. But I could really build up, I might even, change out the shelves I was going to use and use some taller shelves. I don't know. 
I really don't need that much stuff, but I just want everything organized. But, all right, y'all, I'll catch up with y'all in a minute. All right, y'all, I hope you um, enjoyed the clip of the booth. And you see now that, I mean, it's a nice space, but I just want a little bit more space. So I'll go to the full as opposed to the half. And um, I'll have that space. But anyway, I'm going to talk to you guys later. Thanks a lot for uh, watching. Remember, I just brought this shirt from Walmart. Hot mess. I, I, it's like I don't know how to buy clothes no more. Now, this is a medium, too. But I don't know why I got all this. But you know what? I'm wearing it in here to clean, so it works. Um. So, yeah, that's all I'm doing. I'm going to finish vacuuming and fluffing pillows and dusting. And then I'll have this section done, and then I've got, just got to do the dining room. And we'll probably do the dining room together tomorrow. I'm going to clear everything out the way. I'm going to do the bookcases. And then I'll probably want to set the table. So you might get one or two videos out of that. I don't want it to go too long. But anyway, y'all, happy Vlogtober Day 18. Um, we made it to 18 days. All right, y'all. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.